is get yourself in a safe, comfortable position where you can close your eyes for a few minutes. Please turn off your phone. Uh, do whatever you need to do to ensure that you won't be distracted in any way, you know, the doorbell or anything like that for the next few minutes. All right, good. Get yourself a safe, comfortable position. It's better if your legs are not crossed and if your hands are not touching. Good. Now take a nice deep breath and as you exhale, close your eyes. Good. Now what I'd like you to do is to realize that the way we close our eyes is by simply relaxing the muscles in our eyelids. That's what you did. You can open your eyes again if you want. Open them and now just relax them closed. Like when you're sleepy at night and your eyes just want to close heavy with relaxation. Good. Now just let your eyelids be closed heavy with relaxation. So heavy with relaxation that it would just take effort to open them. But you don't want to open them. Right now, all you care about is the instructions that I'm giving you and how deeply relaxed you can go. So now what I'd like you to do is use the relaxation that you've created in your eyelids as a model for relaxing the rest of your body. So take that feeling of relaxation that you're allowing in your eyelids to the top of your head and let the top of your head feel relaxed like your eyelids are relaxed. Good. Now take that feeling of relaxation that you're allowing in your forehead and the top of your head to just go all the way down like a warm wave of relaxation all the way down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet letting your whole body become relaxed like your eyelids are relaxed. Good. Notice how good that feels. Now human beings, we get better with practice. So we're going to do that two more times. One more time, take your attention to your eyelids and now let them go more deeply relaxed. You can always go more deeply relaxed. Perhaps you can let them relax as if you could go ten times deeper relaxed. Just let that happen. And then take that feeling of relaxation to the top of your head. And just let the top of your head feel relaxed. As if you could go ten times deeper relaxed. Just let it go much more deeply relaxed. And now once again send that feeling of relaxation all the way down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Once again, like a warm wave of relaxation over your entire body, all the way down, now to the bottom of your feet. You can do this very easily, very quickly. Third time is the charm. One more time, take your attention to your eyelids. And now, let them relax more, as if you could double that mental relaxation and that physical relaxation. Just let them go heavy, 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 relaxed. Good. Now notice how good that feels and just take that feeling of relaxation all the way to the top of your head. Just letting it, the top of your head go two times deeper relaxed. As if, about, doesn't have to be precise, just as if, about two times deeper relaxed. Good. Now send that feeling once again, once again, like that warm wave of relaxation all the way down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, your face, your neck, your shoulders, your chest and abdomen, the back, all the way down, thighs, knees, calves, tips of your toes, now deeply relaxed. Beautiful. Now we've relaxed the body. Let's relax the mind. That's what we really want to do. As your mind relaxes, you can really begin to accept these instructions for hypnotic induction and self-hypnosis. In a moment, I'm going to count from one down to five. And for the rest of this exercise, every time I say a number or countdown, 
Just let yourself become more and more deeply relaxed. One, physically relaxing, mentally relaxing, emotionally relaxing. Two, as if all you cared about right now is the sound of my voice and how deeply relaxed you can go. Letting your mind relax like your body's relaxed. Three, and as your mind relaxes, your body can go much deeper relaxed. Four, way down. Safe, secure, comfortable. Allowing your body and your mind to respond to the relaxation you knew only as an infant. Five. Yes, your mind and body and emotions at the subconscious level can remember that kind of relaxation. And you just keep going down five to six, more and more deeply relaxed. Mind relaxing, body relaxing, emotions relaxing. Seven. From this point on, let every gentle breath that you exhale take you deeper and deeper relaxed. Eight, as if every gentle breath that you exhale was a step down a staircase of relaxation. Five, letting yourself relax so much it's as if the lights were out and you were asleep at night. Five, drifting down, floating down. Every breath takes you deeper Every thought takes you deeper. Every sensation takes you deeper. Nothing can disturb you. And now we come to the part of the session where you begin the practice of self-hypnosis. In any event, if there is a reason that you had to emerge, you would simply open your eyes and emerge. The protective part of your mind will always be functioning. If I was to say something you didn't like or care for, you would simply reject it. And if you wanted to, you could simply open your eyes at any time and emerge. But right now, all you care about is how deeply relaxed you can become. And as we talked about before, we talked about the concept of Delta. When I say the word Delta, change it in your mind to mean the highest concept or higher power. You would actually change the word. As I say, Delta renews my life. You would change it to a word or concept that is right for you. The Christian might say God or Jesus renews my life. Someone else might say my higher power renews my life. Whatever it is for you, the Quran renews my life if you're Muslim, the Buddha renews my life, the Eightfold Path renews my life if you're Buddhist, whatever works for you. We will first have you repeat the recognition to yourself after me. Then you will repeat it to yourself on your own. When you use the recognition on your own, you will remember to pause after each one and wait for the echo. You'll pause after each recognition and wait for the echo. Remember to pause after the saying of each recognition and wait for the echo. You will have either a thought, feeling, sensation, memory, or picture. After each echo, simply say the recognition silently to yourself once again. The first recognition that you learn is Delta renews my life. Just four words, but we will accomplish a great deal with these four words as I explained earlier. One, continuing to go deeper. The suggestion, Delta renews my life, will be your hypnotic induction. After I emerge you, I'll ask you to go back into hypnosis on your own. You'll be able to reinduce hypnosis in yourself by simply wanting to go back into hypnosis and by repeating, Delta renews my life, wait for the echo, Delta renews my life, and so on. Two, continuing to go deeper, relax now. Delta renews my life, 
is a deepening technique. As you repeat it to yourself and continue to focus on it, you will be able to go deeper and deeper into hypnosis. The deeper you go into hypnosis, the more effective the session will be. Three, Delta Renews My Life is your first hypnotic suggestion. Your subconscious mind knows why, are you, why you are doing this. It will use this suggestion to bring about that change according to your own personal highest beliefs, philosophies, and ideals. Four, Delta Renews My Life will be something you can use any day, at any time, with or without hypnosis, with your eyes open or closed, to bring the power of this recognition into your life whenever you need or want to. When you use Delta Renews My Life without hypnosis, with your eyes open, you are doing what's called an affirmation. Five, deeper relaxed. Continuing to go deeper now. Delta Renews My Life is an invitation for your higher power to be a part of this process today and every day. This invitation will allow that wisdom to be a guide during this process. Six, Delta Renews My Life will be an invocation of your higher power, allowing that kind of energy to be at work in the process. Seven, and only if you like, Delta Renews My Life can be thought of as a powerful prayer or meditation. And now, I will say Delta Renews My Life two more times. After I say it, repeat it to yourself. Delta Renews My Life. Remembering to use your Delta word instead of the word Delta. Delta renews my life. I will repeat it two more times and then you will continue on your own using your Delta word or concept and allowing the echo to occur after each one. Delta renews my life. Delta renews my life. Continue on your own until I speak again with Delta renews my life.
your attention returns to the sound of my voice. Now Delta renews my life, is associated with being in the state of hypnosis. Whenever you want to return to the state of hypnosis, all you have to do is get yourself into a position where you can safely close your eyes and relax for a few minutes and repeat the recognition to yourself with the intention of returning to the state of hypnosis. Now in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. When I get to five and not before, I'd like you to open your eyes. Then I will have you close your eyes and take yourself right back in to hypnosis by doing what you were doing, simply saying Delta renews my life, waiting for the echo and saying Delta renews my life just like you have been doing. One, preparing to emerge. Two, coming up more and more. It's okay, you'll be able to come back to this state anytime you want. Three, coming up more and more. Four, now preparing to open those eyes. And five, open your eyes. Good, now close your eyes. And just take yourself right back in by doing delta, renews my life until I speak again.
gently, your attention returns to the sound of my voice. And this process of saying the recognition and waiting for the echo is associated with being in the state of self-hypnosis. Whenever you want to return to the state of self-hypnosis, all you have to do is get yourself in a safe, comfortable position where you can close your eyes for a few minutes and do what you were doing and you'll be able to return to this state. At any time you wish to emerge, all you have to do is want to emerge and then open your eyes and you will be comfortably emerged. As a matter of fact, you can do that right now. Just let yourself open your eyes and let yourself emerge feeling good. You do feel good, don't you? Good. Now as you come back to the normal feeling that you have when you're not in hypnosis, just allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself to come back to this normal kind of feeling. And let me tell you that all you have to do to go back into the state, get yourself in a safe, comfortable position, close your eyes, and do what you've been doing. Now, of course, there's more recognitions. Each recognition is powerful in its own way, adding to the power of the process. You can learn more recognitions by getting my Seven Path Self-Hypnosis CD set or finding a Seven Path teacher near you on this website, sevenpathselfhypnosis.com, or you can contact us at our office and we can try and find a teacher near you. There are teachers all across the United States, in Asia, in Europe, and many other places, and there's more and more new Seven Path teachers uh, each week, each month, as our teachers train them. All right. Well, good. Now you've made your first step on the path. If you have any questions, you can always contact us. We're here to help you. This is Cal Banyan with you on the path.